I was surprised when, two summers ago, the long arm of U.S. law enforcement reached across the border into Canada and busted three Canadian pot activists, the so-called Prince of Pot, Mark Emery, and two of his employees, Greg Williams and Michelle Rainey. They were arrested by Canadian police, but at the request of the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration, or DEA. These guys are working for the United States. The next surprise was that the U.S. government charged them with drug trafficking, which means they now face a long extradition process that could lead to a life sentence without parole in an American jail. Their crime? Selling marijuana seeds, 10 per packet, to American customers through Mark Emery's mail-order marijuana seed business. I'm pleased to announce that that business is out of business, effective today. They say I'm responsible for 1.1 million pounds. I hope it's true. I hope it's true. That would be great. That'd be my legacy. I produce more marijuana uh, than anybody else on the planet except God himself. Whatever your opinion is on pot, a life sentence seems like overkill. For me, it's not so much about seats, but sovereignty. My own justice minister signed off on sending me to the United States for the rest of my life. And let me assure you, if you, the Canadian people, allow me to be extradited, you will never see me alive again.